Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, I do the premium lead codes on Patreon. Uh, everything's in the description, and you uh, should join my Discord. Thank you. Uh, this problem is called Rotate Array. A lot of likes, some dislikes. I saw people complaining it was too hard. Um, given an array, rotate the array. I'm sure you guys have heard of this, rotating an array. Given an array, rotate the array to the right by k steps, where k is non-negative. Okay, so we're given an array like this, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, and we rotate it to the right three times. So the 7 goes to the front, the 6 goes to the front, and the 5 goes to the front. And then it's 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, so rotate a rotation is just popping something off. One rotation is popping one number off the end of the array, putting it to the front, and pushing everything else to the right. Um, so I mean, yeah, okay, k equals 2. So you rotate the 99 to the front and then the 3 to the front. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. People complain, people complain, eh, this is too hard, this should be medium, this should be a hard problem, this is so hard. Guess what? It's not hard, dude. Um, let me tell you why. You guys think that when you, this is what I have a problem with is, people think, especially people that try to understand algorithms and they give up, they sit and they, they'll they sit and look at this problem and be like, they'll have a double for loop solution and be like, how do I do this? I don't know how to do this. I can only get n squared solution. I don't know how to do this. Guess what? Look at the solution. Just look at the solution. Sometimes, and in this case, there is a trick that you can either sit here and spend all day trying to figure out and eventually figure it out, or you can just look and think, oh, this is how it is. You do these steps, and this is how you do it in a linear runtime, you know? It's just a, the way that it is. You don't have to, you know, there's no lot, crazy explanation for it. It's just the way it is sometimes, and I'll explain, you know, I'll show you it. The trick here is, you know, the array, you know, you have this array, so like 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. If you want to rotate it three times, the trick is you reverse all the numbers, so you reverse 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, so it becomes 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then you reverse the first K numbers. Five, six, so 7, 6, 5, the first three numbers, becomes 5, 6, 7. Then you reverse the last numbers after K. 4, 3, 2, 1 becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. And look, if we were to have pulled this 7, 6, and 5 off the front, you put 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's exactly what it is. So you reverse the whole list. You reverse the first K numbers. Then you reverse the leftover numbers. That's it. It's just how it is. You don't have to, you know, it's not like the person who thought of this probably had to sit there and think for a while. We don't have to because he did. We just learn things. It's like just learning a thing in math class. You learn what it is. You remember this next time. And that's just how it is. You don't have to sit here. So, like if you didn't know how to do it in an interview, like, um, yeah, you'd have to sit there and look at it. But you that's why you study for the interviews. You study so you see stuff like this. You do the easy problems and then you know how to do them. So, um, you know, that's my rant. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take K and we're going to do K mod nums dot length. Just because apparently the problem lets uh, there be no, a nums array where the length of the array is less than k or equal to k and in that case um you know it's going to be we have to do this to be able to know how many numbers to reverse um and then like we're going to do the steps right so we reverse nums from zero to nums dot length so we reverse the whole array minus one we reverse then once we reverse the whole array so we reverse the whole array it looks like this then we reverse the first k letters so we pass in nums we're going to do from 0 to k minus 1. These are indices, so that's why we're adding the minus 1s here. And then we're going to reverse the leftover numbers. That's it, guys. Don't think on it too hard. If you don't have to think about it so much, then don't, you know? So many people get stressed out, and it's like you don't need to be so stressed out. And then you make your reverse method. That's it. It's a real, That's why it's easy, because it's easy, you know? Just look, learn it, and then you don't forget it, you know? Just remember it. Um, some of them you do have to figure out solutions to, but you, you have to learn your tools before you actually, you know, this is a tool learning one. So, and then you use this to figure out harder versions of this problem. But this is something you just got to know. Um, so while start is less than end, um, we're going to do, uh, you get your temp, we'll set it to uh, nums of start, 
we're basically just doing swaps. Um, so you do nums of start is equal to nums of end. This is just a re basic reversal. So you just go through the array and you swap the, uh, it's like two pointers almost, one at the beginning, one at the end, and you're just swapping them as you go through. That's just a basic reversal. And then uh, nums of end, you always have to make a temp because you lose the reference to start right here. We're resetting it. So we want to set nums of end equal to temp. And then you just uh, decrement start. So you do plus plus end minus minus. And yeah, that's it. That's the whole problem. That's why it's easy. You know, it's easy. There you go. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I'm wrong here. But I'm, I mean, I see a lot of people that like complain about, you know, uh, this should be under medium category. It's like, I don't know. It's, I think it's just people overthinking things. And it's like sometimes, you know, I don't, here's one more thing before I get off. I know this isn't like an advice video, but if you're struggling with a problem for more than 20 or 30 minutes, you're wasting time, dude. Look at the solutions, learn from them. There's thousands of these problems. You can learn the basics. Just look at the solutions and learn from them. And then when you're ready, you can start using your knowledge to actually knock out problems on your own. You know, that's what I, that's my strategy. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, but, um, Appreciate you guys for watching. Sorry for being a little bit negative. I just want, you know, you guys not to waste your time. Don't waste hours on these and then stress yourself out and give up. Just fit, learn from them. Learn from things. This, like, I got it down in my mind now. I don't even, I don't have to look. I don't have to look. You reverse the whole list. You reverse the first K. You reverse the rest of them. That's it. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.